Welcome to today's World of Tanks console video where we look at the French tanks that are lethal within World of Tanks console. So let's get into the video, check out the best tanks of the French line, both premium and non-premium tanks, and uh, show you which ones to avoid. So let's get into it now. So first things first, I think let's pick out the best tanks. And of course, as we go through, we'll show you some of the worst ones. And talking about the worst ones, the AMX CDC. Probably avoid this one at all costs, even though I have three marked it. It is just awful in the current meta within World of Tanks. But let's start on the left hand side. These are the tanks that I own and hence will be part of the video. So first one being the Batch at 12T, which is a free tank. It's not a premium. It is a Tetri one at tier eight. And this is one of my favorite light tanks within the game. Although being probably one of those that you go, really, is that the your favorite kind of light tank within the game? Well, it's just because it has just a fantastic all round kind of attributes within this tank. And so, yes, you do have a four shot autoloader with 170 damage per shot so you've got 680 damage in an entire clip so it's like hitting someone with I don't know a broom bar or something um, and penning uh, but basically if you autoload with the French tanks, they have a fairly decent um, intraclip reload. With the light tanks, at least, having a two-second intraclip reload. So it's pretty nice. And so, yeah, top speed is 68 kilometers an hour. It's a little bit sluggish turning. Um, but if you play it very much like a fast, very fast medium tank uh, with an autoloader, of course, going in after the opponents at the end of the game, preserving your hit points, this is one of the best tanks uh, I've played for light tank playstyle, especially light tank autoloader playstyle. Uh, and we'll move on. Now that isn't the only autoloading 8 tier 8 light tank within this video being the best French tanks. It is of course the Vanguard ELC Even 90 or just the ELC Even 90 is the non-skinned version of this tank. Both exactly the same except of course one of them gets camo uh, as part of it where you, you know, you basically look slightly different. You know, you've got this meshing over the top of it uh, but that is primarily the only difference. Uh, Vanguard ELC Even 90 is fantastic uh, in all regards. Uh, basically the this tiny tank even compared to the batch at 12t it is minuscule and so you can get up close and personal with the best of the heavy tanks and they literally can't even look at you because their gun doesn't depress that far uh, so this is why i like it it's an absolute pest it doesn't have the best dpm but it has the view range the concealment and just the play style of being a little nippy uh, tank that can go 80 kilometers now with some of the speed boost equipment yeah, this tank is just fantastic and one that you probably would want to get if you do have that extra bit of cash. And since it's a light tank premium, they don't cost a fortune comparatively to heavy tanks. So, yeah, even more of a reason to try out this tank. Now, not only that, the AMX 13105, the top daddy uh, within the French line, it's pretty over... It's probably not one of the most competitive, but it's okay. And, yeah, you can definitely have some okay games with... Of course, a CDC we talked about was pretty meh. Uh, Revelerise is another one that's just, it's so far behind now. It used to be fairly decent, but yeah, it's nowhere near. But moving into the next best within the French line, it is of course the Bat Chatillon Barasque, the tier eight French medium autoloader that is basically like a light tank. It's a, a very... <laughs> It's a fast medium like the batch at 12T, but this one is more like a medium. It doesn't go as fast. It doesn't turn as fast, um, but it does have that two shot autoloader with 720 total damage in that clip. So two lots of 360 damage. It has very nice penetration, so it doesn't get that light tank penetration. It gets the medium one, so you can pen pretty much everything that you come up against uh, in the front. And even uh, if you come up against the higher tiers, which you can with this, uh, you can still pump them in the side very reliably without having to really load any premium ammunition of course this one is one of the my favorites uh, if I want to just play and have some fun and just basically have some really good games the batch at Barask has everything that you will need from that French line and so yeah I do really enjoy playing it um, moving on we of course have the AMX M4 MLE 45 which trust me when I first started playing this, I thought, oh god, it's going to be a boxy, terrible tank. But actually, I really enjoyed playing it. Um, and so, yeah, I guess that there is kind of that notable mention, but it isn't one of the best tanks in the French line. However, 
Talking about French heavy tanks, we have the Somua SM, the Nomad. Um, basically, this tank is a upgraded version of an AMX 5120. It has more armor, and so it's kind of thicker at the front and so yes you can bounce rounds in this one and the key feature of this tank is of course having the five shot autoloader 300 damage per shot 1500 damage total in the clip meaning that you can really have some fantastic results if you can unload all of those shots but and the intra clip reload isn't even awful it's 2.25 seconds which isn't the worst it's not the best uh, but it certainly isn't like four seconds like some of the autoloaders within the game so yeah another reason why this tank is fantastic uh, yes you can go 37 kilometers an hour so it's not a particularly super slow or super fast tank uh, but it can shift around the battlefield uh, you do have okay vision if you put advanced vision on and I have the commander view perks uh, but overall you want to play it like a traditional heavy tank and also like a uh, an autoloader you can't be just coming up against enemy heavy tanks that are, aren't autoloaders as well so make sure that you do poke around that corner deal all of your shots of damage try and bounce that round using the somewhat armor that you have in the tank and then you have a fantastic result 1500 damage and that is consistent especially if you load premium rounds 263 millimeters of penetration means that pretty much every single tier 10 that you come up against is an easy pen uh yeah especially uh if you're looking at the weak points but other than that moving on of course i think although being the Foch 155 is being the top daddy of the french td line i think the actual better tank tier for tier is the amx 50 Foch, the tier 9 and this has just an unbelievable uh gun you can literally deal i think it's 1200 damage no, 1600 damage in one singular clip, meaning that yes, you can pump up a lot of the opponents at the tier. They really don't understand that you have 1600 and it is so consistent as well. The accuracy, although being 0.35, when you have uh, the equipment in the tank and also uh, the commander within the tank, you can get that down even further, meaning that you are pretty much pinpoint accuracy. Uh, so if you do fire at the tracks of the tank, you lock them down, you can deal 1600 damage very reliably. And that is exactly why I like the tank, as well as being fairly stealthy. You know, if you put on the right equipment where you have the camo, like we do on the Foch 155 here, you can get it down to very low numbers. And so actually they're pretty stealthy, especially since they're pretty boxy. I think they are definitely tank destroyers that are kind of underrated by a lot of people. They don't realize just quite how nice it is when you have that auto-loading uh, gun that actually is pretty accurate and can deal with the damage very, very quickly. Uh, so you see here the Foch 155, if you run it with the uh, the 120 millimeter, you have six shots in the, uh, in the tank, uh, which means that you can have a total damage of 2,400 total, which is ridiculous and so pumping pretty much all of the heavy tanks in the game especially if you load premium 325 millimeters of penetration goodbye e100 mantler uh yeah it's just pretty much ridiculous with these french light tanks uh, of course then you have the artillery probably the tier 10 being the best one the ones previous are uh, pretty mediocre they're not really that overpowered uh, but there we go Obviously moving into the tech tree now, we'll talk about some other ones. The other kind of notable tanks that you'll probably want to be looking at are of course the AMX 12T being that tier 6 French light tank. Very, very nice tank itself. Uh, then you also have uh, tanks like the, oh, where is it? The Batchat 25T, which is the tier 10. We haven't quite got there myself, but it is a very nice tank. Uh, and then, of course, the Batcha 25T AP, which we did a video on not that long ago, is also a very underrated tank uh, within there. Obviously, tanks you probably want to avoid, at least being the super competitive ones, is the AMX M4, MLE 54, the Tier 10 French Heavy. Uh, the AMX 65T are awful. Uh, basically, the best lines to go for are the AMX 50B, the Batcha 25T AP, the Foch 155. So there we go. Hopefully you did enjoy this video, of course, if you did hit that like button and of course check out some of the other content where we look through some of the top five and best tanks within the game that I will link on screen right now. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I hope that you will join me in one of those videos. Goodbye.